Good morning, my dear friends. Due to very cool weather condition, I was not able to complete my discussion on the basis of your lot of queries for a quite some time and finally on the on this great day of our republic of india i convey my warm heartfelt greetings to all of you for this 73rd Republic Day. Today, I want to discuss few questions of my beloved friends. As far as possible, there are a lot of questions I am simply replied a little few and I shall be trying to address all these questions in coming days. Today I shall discuss one of my friend he he want to know how to calculate the young modulus from n value. His basic problem is, was the formation is C0 soil, the granular soil, where n value. It is very difficult to collect the undisturbed soil where n value is only alternative often for us. We know the Hooke's law, stretch for strain is elastic modulus or young modulus. In cohesive soil, we can conduct unconfined compression test triaxial shear test and from there we can calculate the stress and strain. Stress we can calculate from other tests also but strain we can calculate from very correctly and efficiently from the unconfined compression only because the strain varies with the confinement of lateral pressure that is sigma 3 sigma 1 equal to sigma 2 some says sigma 1 and sigma 2 is stress and sigma 3 is lateral stress. The, this vertical stress that is sigma 1 which is equal to sigma 2 that means action equal to opposite reaction. So from this relationship we can calculate we can calculate our stress and strain relationship but where there is no undisturbed samples are available in case very very cautiously if we, if anyone collect one undisturbed sample from 
sun deformation using triple tube barrel bottom discharge triple tube barrel which is too costly affairs yet there are least possibilities of conducting other stress from that course because it is uh, friable in nature sun is in friable in nature there are a lot of empirical relationship developed from n value also with density also there are empirical relationship from n value also but most popularly correlation between young modulus and n value is most commonly used we must be careful about the adopting of n value as a base for our assessment for estimation of young modulus since this relationship varies plus minus 400% up to plus minus 400 percent maybe 10 percent maybe 20 percent or maybe 400 percent this variation is there there are so many empirical relationships which have a lot lot of variation possibilities however there are there are equations one equation is very old equation that is so, uh, young modulus equal to 750 plus 80 n in ton per meter square and uh, in sh- some cases it has differ from 50 to 75% plus minus 50 to 75% and in case of c if c is available then it is 600 cu elastic modulus equal to 600 cu the constant multiple constant are valid for 100 to 1000 in this regards these are all empirical relationship some some has find it find it so they stated in some books or some technical paper journals however i sincerely request all of you to go through in books like bowles scott alam singhs etc we should not forget that most most of these empirical relationship based on research of developed countries especially american countries so their soil in our soil has some difference as for instance in india also one size grain sand is available in madras only other where it is in madras 1 mm means 1 mm there will be no 1.1 it is naturally from sun so it is called standard sun madras standard sun for such reason i suggest to go for more confirmation and more information from books so that 
your estimation cannot be misleaded and then there one of my beloved friends he asked the relationship between anbelu and sbc in my one earlier lecture i had already discussed that anbelu is the origin mat origin of sbc analysis analyzing method before that before anbelu what we did we have a down a wooden piece or a steel of known weight we are allowing to fall at ground to penetrate some as far as the shear strength using kinetic theory we can calculate the soil resilience that means load absorbing capacity of the soil then thereafter we are applying some amount of safety factor in those days in those days it was normally two is tolerable limit and three was allowable limit so this type of yeah, this type of things we have discussed in my earlier videos you see and belu and belu for sandy soil we must go to go to and belu only what any one says the it is from pi from uh, direct shear test or shear triaxial shear test it will be very difficult because we have to go for um, remolding the sample remolding means it is disturbed we cannot make it in situ condition even it is very difficult to carry the granular sample the from site to laboratory without any disturbance so we must accept the anbelu criteria also in our india in our bis code is 6403 has some specific re- recommendation for sbc there are some equations also but basic purpose is to find out the phi we know the granular soil has no c because adhesive force is zero only frictional force so frictional force we can calculate from the anvil itself code has recommended not only code long back it was recommended by ramond and tarzaghi also ramond after the disco- after the uh, presentation of his i uh, split spoon sampler he had conducted and demonstrated the sbc from sbc and blows and our is 8009 part 1 had clear guidelines clear guidelines how to calculate the sbc and settlement and in earlier days in in peak hanshan thanban tarzaghi in in their days they considered for sandy soil 
पॉइंट एट एन इन एस बी सी टन पर मीटर स्क्वायर इन केस ऑफ क्ले इट वन पॉइंट टू एन टन पर मीटर स्क्वायर बोथ सी एन फाइव क्ले सो फ्रॉम दिस एन वेल्यू वी कैन कैलकुलेट वी कैन कैलकुलेट द फ्रिक्शनल एंगल फाइव डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम एन वेल्यू and from there we can go for cohesion component will be zero next weight and surface component adapting both two component we can calculate the sbc in case of clay soil in the case of clay soil normally we can calculate the unconfined compressive strength from n value which is cn c is compressive uh, c is constant varying from 1.2 to 1.35 earlier it was considered as 1.2 now it is 1.2 to 1.35 from this compressive strength value we can also calculate the c value because there is a accepted theory is q equal to 2 c plus 1045 by 5 by 2 it's a alpha during during our shear test during our shear test this is the this is this is the this is the failure this is the failure and this failure this angle is considered as beta which is equal to 45 plus 5 by 2 so from that criteria we can calculate the c also considering you know, 5 value from 5 to 10 depending upon the liquid limit and plastic limit we can calculate that in such cases in such cases we have to do one thing let us calculate c value considering phi value as phi and other c value considering phi value as 10 or any one but it should not be more than 10 in such cases we should go for sbc analysis for c and phi for phi equal to 5 degree again some known c and for uh, phi equal to 10 degree again some corresponding that c value of with that angle because because in this equation uh, 45 plus 5 by 2 if Five became is five uh, became is five. If we consider five as a five, then this will be little higher. And if we consider it is five as a ten, this will c value will be little lower. In both cases, we have to calculate the S B C, and finally we have to consider one which is close to. Uh, close to very average. Another question I have received. This is. This question is. S B C failure criteria. whether it is decided by the soil formation or from other sources 
we should not forget that our soil mechanics not is today's science. Undoubtedly, in 19th century, after Bacinac, uh, 19th century, Bacinac, Peek, Tanchan, Tazaghi, they have developed and streamlined from a our some common practice, online common practice to a specific guidebooks, to make a specific guidebook. In our ancient literature, mainly the Bastro Sastro. Bastro Sastro, in Bastro Sastro, this Soil mechanics means relative density of the soil. Color and relative density and permeability of soil. With, with these three aspects, they are concentrate for the construction activities. Relative density that means less the parts, soil is relatively more dense. Less the permeability, soil will be relatively more dense. So, in Bastro Sastro, in the line of Bastro Sastro's instruction, our modern scientists also, Tardaghi and other, all others, they have also calculated two methods. All these are based on relative density. One method is void index. Void index, if it is less than 0.55, then general shear failure and if it is greater than 0.75 what this is greater than 75 then local shear failure in relative density if it is greater than 75 percent then general shear failure and if it is relative density is less than 0.25 then it is local shear failure this is a clear this a only relative density is the deciding criteria of the failure classification whether it is general shear failure or local shear failure. General shear failure means 100% or local shear failure means 66.7%. So, in between, in between, that will be intermediate. So, in my all worksheets are introduced a term efficiency factor a term efficiency factor. <coughs> this is from void index efficiency factor EF equal to 1 minus 1.665 within bracket E0 minus 0.55 under rule 5.2.1 of IS6403. In relative density, efficiency equal to 1 minus 0.666 within bracket 0.75 minus relative density by 100. That means it is not in percentage. So, in this equation, you may be 
you may be having one question where I am getting 1.665 and 0.665. You may raising this question where where I am getting 1.665. You see, what is our basic difference of this general shear failure and local shear failure. It is one is first is general shear failure means one local shear failure means 0 0.667 that means one minus 0 0.667 it, it, is, it became 0 0.333 and what is our difference of void? Void is 0.75 minus 0.55. That means it is 2. So 0 0.33, 0 0.333 divided by 0 0.2, it is coming 1.665. Accordingly, this also 0.333 divided by 0.75 minus 0.25 so it became 0.666 automatically when you will be making an equation it will be very easy to solve the problem otherwise every time you have to say uh, what is the uh, intermediate value if it is more than uh, 75 percent there is no problem less than 75 there is no problem but in between normally uh, there are chances of 75 percent and less than 25 percent relative density I do not suggest for cell foundation there because this is a 25 percent relative density means it is very uh, soft soil of course it is overall uh, international standard in our Indian standard it is 70 and 20 percent it is 70 and 20 percent you see here there is some input value restriction is there by this you if it is less than 0 0.55 you you have to consider as 0.55 if it is more than 0 0.75, you must consider it 0 0.75. Accordingly, the relative density also, upper limit is 75% and lower limit is 25%. I hope it will be surely help you in calculation. You can, you can use this equation directly. There is no pro uh, any problem. I do not have any copyright or anything else. You can use directly this equation. Another question is, perhaps he is a professional, professional engineer. He asked, how many step shaking is necessary in the SBC analysis? SBC means SBC means the safe load. Our design load shall be safe against shear failure and excessive settlement failure. The limitation of settlement for different type of structures are given right from tall structure, steel structure, RCC structure and RCC panel structure for different type of structure for different soils for sand soil, hard clay soil, soft plastic clay, different soil, there is a table in IS 1904. In 
19 IS 1904 there is a table we must cross the limit of that table we are not allowed to cross the SBC should be safe against shear and settlement failure both settlement failure means the the permissive to anticipated settlement shall not exceed the limited settlement permission say for some structure the settlement is permissible for 60 mm our calculated settlement that is anticipated that we can just anticipate the settlement with some theory there are some elastic settlement there are some consolidation settlement with with all this settlement we can just anticipate the this mass of settlement we can anticipate the calculated settlement and of this so our anticipated settlement should not be more than our permissible limit of that table 1904 this table is our basic guidelines we should not cross the limit these are suggested these two two failures are suggested by coach but it is simply a guideline it is not a bible for us it is simply a guideline even some even most of the court accept american and british courts astm and british court accept those court our all indian courts do not accommodate the original art pressure theory introduced by rankine it neither it was included in our courts nor suggested by any books the our sbc should be also based on this this art pressure theory nowadays only required in foundation engineering for designing a floating foundation i do not know why this so important equation was neglected in my personal opinion i feel i feel it is more essential to estimate the sbc using minimum three methods say one c5 method one spt method another re another lot of equations in our indian standard code like in 2911 part 1 there is a one co- uh, equation which is for pile in bearing capacity so pile in bearing capacity our sbc for cello foundation is same in pile there are two component is one is skin resistance another is in bearing so in that equation n value is there and the length is there so in state of length in state of length our depth of foundation is there so we can rearrange that equation we can go for Uh, rearranging go for calculation of this as we see and finally the selected 
or lowest value. I am not going to say that the, this lowest value should be adopted at some time. If our input data for the lowest value is not proper, so our value will be naturally low. And if three methods we are using, one is abruptly high, one is abruptly low, that means there is some, uh, out of this, there may be some wrong input. So we must mark it question. Yeah, which is, we have to select which is wrong input. From there, so I used selected. From the selected value, we have to go for settlement checking. After se if settlement checking, after settlement checking, if it is, we get the anticipated settlement is within the limit of as per IS 1904, then we have to go for art pressure checking as a minimum depth of foundation. Is a minimum depth of foundation which is uh, one uh, p by b p by p by gamma uh, one plus sine phi and my one minus sine phi square. I have forgotten this equation, but in my all worksheet this equation is there, and we can rearrange this equation also. Rearranging the this equation, we can go for SBC also for that depth. So, if our depth checking is using this art pressure theory, if we get it is safe in all the aspect, we can see it is our allowable ship bearing capacity. Here, I want to add one more thing. We are assuming that our calculated loads are full and final. What we have calculated, it is full and final. There may be some amount of accidental loads too. During earthquake, from adjacent columns, etc. During some landscape, some art pressure will be there. There may be exceptional and accidental loads may be come up to the same loading. We do not know. So we must check for that also. In my all worksheets which are published earlier, I have already presented for different steps, checkings. In seismic cases, we our allowable limit is 25%, so I am considering 25% higher uh, value at one side and 25% lower value at opposite side. What will be the result and deflection of the foundation soil? Below the foundation, this shaking was there. So, in such cases, in my opinion, I I request you, I suggest you, request you, the, we must especially for important and community structures, these conditions are also duly be considered for more safety of a structure. Another question is, how to make correction of SPT value. SPT value, actually, there are one important aspect of the SPT value is because we, we all know that our soil density is generally mainly because of overburden pressure, overburden weight. 
the overburden weight basically resisted by shear strength of soil and poor water pressure so remond after introduction of his split spoon sampler he proposed two correction one is overburden correction another is the latency correction the latency corrections means fine grain sand and silt first initially one or two two blows it will be penetrated very very naturally just to penetrate without any without any difficulties after little penetration little penetration the number of blows tremendously increasing mainly because of those soil drain out the poor water pressure on vibration that is friction to be gaining of strength if you take some silt if you take some amount of silt in a liquid limit device or in hand if we if we um, taking some um, moist silty soil in your palm and make some with a pencil you hammer it very gently very gently you please strike it and then you see the water will be coming out gradually so during same phenomenon has developed during hammering the pore water from this type of soil is quickly released and becoming becoming soil is hard harder than earlier stage so in such cases it the latency correction is not became necessary as a the correction uh, in my all worksheet what happen i am not using any graph or any recommended figure i am converting to equation only so that one can easily calculate in instead of being every time the figure or graph overburden correction and c that means n is n is filled n neglecting the n numbers of blows for the first 15 cm and this n is second and third 15 cm numbers of blows and nc is the corrected n value and we can calculate this corrected n value and fc fc the fc is correction factor corresponding to overburden pressure this equal to 2 divided by within bracket 1 plus 0.01 the p so p where p is the overburden pressure in kilonewton per meter square so with this equation we can go for overburden correction but this value should not be le- less than 0.5 and greater than 0.2 get greater than 2 it should be 0.5 to 2 there are enumerable this type of equation there are lot of equations on the basis of the same original equation 
same original equation of Tazaghi and Tang. In they have introduced one equation which was in psi pound per square inch. 50 divided by 28 uh, above one plus 10 so accordingly that that type of equation is there but in that equation initially some values are more than two more than double so in this equation it will be always less than two in isi uh, is uh, 2131 this figure also it is starting from 2 and f ending at 0.47 so using this equation you can easily calculate the make this envelope of our burden corrections dilatancy correction is it is 15 plus nc minus 15 divided by 2 where nc is corrected value nc must be more than 15 in case of greater than 15 only each correction is necessary another is this is for a particular 30 centimeter value our foundations shall be much bigger than that whether that particular 30 centimeter value shall the whole good good for say about 5 meter by 5 meter foundation or not in such cases is uh, 6403 and is a double zero nine has recommended some principles. Although we are conducting the SPT test at an interval of 1.5, but for this calculation purpose, we have to calculate, uh, we have to find out the series of values for 75 centimeter interval up to 1.5 to 2 times b and we have to take the average of those all the values and another condition is there the any individual value if exceeded by 50 percent of the average value then that value shall be neglected and recalculated so during calculation say uh, considering 1.5 b say our foundation size is say 5 meter then we have to go for 5 from the depth of foundation to another 1.5 5 that is 7.5 meter df minus 7.5 meter and 75 centimeter interval we will be getting 11 values out of that 11 values we have to calculate the average and if any individual value greater than 50 percent of average then that value should be neglected and after neglecting that value we have to recalculate it so this is uh, simple there is no problem however in earlier days in earlier days the it was termed as weighted average nw weighted average this it is 3 any one any means after this correction 
any one plus two any two and any three divided by six. That means it is considered that our load shall be distributed up to one point five b, one point five b, and gradually impact of the loads on these values will be decreasing. So this first first say it is first one third of so one third of B that is this N value is be more responsible and this will be fifty percent responsible, this will be less responsible. For that accordingly we have calculated. In this equation you see N W weighted average and and is double corrected and that means double corrected means it is overburden correction and dilatancy correction. In these assumption, in these assumption, load shall be distributed below to a larger B, B equal to B plus L. In some size, Bosinak size twice B, Westergaard says 1.5 B, Tarzagi says B plus L. These are, for more information, you please go through textbooks of Bowles and Scots. Bowles and Scots, they have some elaborate discussion and intercon. Winter con also. This, I hope you do not have any problem. And if necessary, worksheets. I have worksheets, no problem. If you want, I can send it. Or that day, one one of my beloved friend has asked me. Uh, I told him there are best two alternatives. One, yourself should come to my place. I'll give my whole day time, one day, three day, one week, two, one month, two month, any time you require, I can give it to you. Or I may go to you, but I cannot go from myself. You have to arrange my going and coming. Uh, so these are the best alternatives for you. Open. All those are open for you. You may come to me for one month, two months, how many times you require. I can give you my time. Or you can take me. One month, two month, I can give, no problem. I am useless, workless, old man. So I can give full time to you. I received one very, very lovely question which from my one beloved friend. It is non-technical question, non-technical. It is non-technical for you all, but it is most technical for me, for my life. The question is, he asked me, had I been in any love affairs during my early life? First, He, first I, uh, I tried to avoid this question immediately, but yes, I love all, 
I love you and all. Because I am made of love only. All says our body is made of five elements. I say, I am saying my life is made of one element that is love. L O B E, love. So, I love everyone, I mean, I love God also, I am not, not, not God-fearing man, I love God, I love plant also, I love sky also, I love moon also, sun also, everything I love. That gentleman, he <laughs> already asked me, then the, uh, uh, during my young time, young age, yes, I was young. I am young and I shall remain young for always and forever. Frankly speaking, I want to add one thing. During our days, we do not use, we use friends. Friends means classmate, college mate, schoolmate, batchmate, roommate. These are our friends. Hostel mate, college mate, classmate. These are. We do not use in our time, there was no word boyfriend, girlfriend. Nowadays, friend is less important, the subject is less important, the object, the adjective is more important, girlfriend, boyfriend. Friend is less important. So, whatever I made, maybe, I was, I was a tube light. I do not, do not understand. <laughs> not uh, in earlier days, not it now also, not in coming days whether I will be, or not, I do not know. But earlier I was a tube light and at present I am a tube light. Uh, but I do not know about my future, whether I will be tube light or some sensitive. So, I, uh, this is my uh, last chapter. Another gentleman, another my friend, uh, casually during telephonic discussion, uh, he had asked me, uh, nowadays, you do not, uh, I do not see any articles in journals and papers and somewhere else. Well, I told him, uh, yes, I am stopping writing in articles or papers in journal or somewhere. I have no time at all. What we are doing? Well, I will be, uh, I will be making some sort of YouTube presentation. The, he was quite unhappy. My this switch over. I tell you one thing frankly. Uh, I do not. Uh, I have no practice to tell you some little. Uh, luxury of wrong information. I do not like it. I am very simple. I am outer and uh, I do not have outer and inner. I am one only. I am only one. I do not have outer 
and in a lot of people they have they are having tooth fond outer and inner but i am not such type of gentleman so in 1996 in 1996 how many time it is uh, 20 22 years another that is 20 Uh, four years. That is twenty-six years. Twenty-six years back, I had presented one paper uh, uh, regarding pile foundation, the alternative economic of well foundation. My paper was i was given 15 minutes time to present my paper and and question question hours it is about 45 minutes and no one try to understand what i am saying even this year has remarked in his conclusion deliverings that since i am presenting the paper i must say something in my favor to safeguard the word economy uh, some of my close friends were there they are they are even uh, casually said me uh, it is not a word of discuss discussion of a national level conference it should be some local conference it should be discussed in some local conference it should not be brought to a national level conference now you see comparatively all over the india comparatively all bridge foundations are now a days twist over to well foundation from well foundation to pile foundation even recently last few years brahm in brahmaputra also brahmaputra is a very big river up very big river having peculiar behavior than the rest of the country in brahmaputra having so much of velocity so much of in is an immature river characteristics young himalayan river in brahmaputra all bridges and constructions using a boat boat cast in situ pile no wells are today no wells are provided which was which was suggested by me 26 years back and that day people people perhaps thought i have some doubts some learned scholars also they were they did not did not say single word for my behalf they all again discussion is necessary good or bad all discussion should be there but it does not mean that this type of the since i am presenting the paper i must say something in my favor it should not be remarks and this paper shall not be considered for national conference national level conference this comments is not wise for young generation for coming days now what i said all are following this then my what is my use of wasting my time in the name of presentation of papers today i am saying last 53 years i am in this field lot of works i am doing lot of works 
no one can imagine so much of works I am associated with many projects. I am saying, had I been associating in literature or some other activities, I shall be known by everyone. Constantly I am working last 53 years. So now 22, so it is 53 years. Last 53 years I am in the same field without going to any other corner. But what I did? I did nothing. Had I been devoted my entire life in literature, in writing some drama, novel, some drama, then definitely well, quite a lot of people knows me, shall know me. I am deprived of that things. But I, my best purpose of life is I am trying to what I know I want to give you after my death, I cannot take this to anywhere, anywhere. So, at present, during my living, I want to to give some interested young people for next generation. At least, they may be helpful. Hope I'll be discussing another few questions. One is regard one major question is regarding some responsibilities of geotechnical professional. That will be very very interesting subject for me. Please all be happy. Please all be healthy. All be blissful and contented. My best wishes, warm regards, always with you for all well of you. In case any further information, I am always available at jcgoogle at the red gmail.com. Thank you. Please. Have a nice day.